Hello, um, this is just a very short vlog. Um, I recently updated my iPad to version 9.1 of iOS. Now, <clears throat> a lot of times you hear what is at the bleeding edge when you get an iOS update, you know, what new wonderful things you can do if you have, for example, an iPhone 6S or an iPad Air 2 or the soon to be released iPad Pro. But I just thought for those of you like me who may be using an aging um, iPad, you might like um, to know that iOS 9 seems to have improved the performance of older iPads. I, this iPad is an iPad third generation. So it's a few years old now. And when iOS 9 came out, it made it very sluggish, particularly when swiping up to close apps, etc. It would sometimes take me seven or eight attempts at swiping up before the app would close. And so it made it very sort of treacly. Uh, the whole performance went down and I thought, well, it looks like, you know, the days of this iPad are numbered and um, I may not even update it again as far as an iOS update goes. But I heard and watched a couple of YouTube videos of people running 9.1 testing on actually various iPhones, and I found that the older iPhones, it improved their performance. This is what was happening on the videos. So I thought I would take a punt and update to 9.1, and I did, and I've been pleasantly surprised that, yes, the performance of my iPad, remember, third generation, has improved. I, I mean, all I've done basically is open apps like the Facebook app, um, and in particular the Google Plus app, which tended to be a bit very sluggish because it also pulls down lots of images that people have posted and stuff like that. And I've just opened them, run them for a while, and then tried to swipe shut. And so far the apps that I've opened and then closed again, they've swiped shut the very first time. And this hasn't happened probably since iOS 8. So I would recommend if you have an old iPad, um, certainly, you know, third generation and above, I, I, I wouldn't, you know, I don't know about the um, iPad 2, whether it's even, even supported, but if you're getting to an iPad 2, then you're really starting to get long in the tooth. But if you've got an iPad 3 in particular and you might have been burnt by updating to 9 and thinking, well, that's the end of my iPad, um, you know, I'm going to have to look at an iPad, you know, Air 2 or iPad Pro or something like that. Update to 9.1, you should be pleasantly surprised and, you know, it should give you a bit more um, length of usage, um, constructive usage, productive usage for your iPad. Um, you know, that's one thing I must say, you know, Apple could have just said, well, who cares? You know, there are so many generations back now, we don't care, we want people to update and buy the latest. But in this update, it looks like they have taken some time to, you know, fix some, you know, maybe it was memory issues, maybe it was cutting back on some of the um, stuff that was installed so that, you know, stuff that there's no point installing it on an iPad 3 if it's not supported on an iPad 3. So they obviously did some tweaking at the back end and so far so good. It's it's given my iPad 3 a big performance boost and will, you know, hopefully, unless it actually dies, it will give my iPad 3 a lot longer lifespan. So thank you very much to Apple for doing that and I just thought I would let people know so that if you're sitting there at the moment with an iPad 3 running iOS 9 and, and it's being really, really slow, really sluggish, that take the punt, update it to 9.1 and you should see a performance increase. But anyway, let me know in the, note, in the comments below um, what you find if you do update your iPad. It's, it's certainly not an illusion. I've certainly um, found a big performance increase. So that's it, just a little quick vlog stating, stating I guess, the bleeding obvious, but give it a try and let me know what you say, what you think.